The reason why I got away with a gang of shit is I never did it with a gang of niggas. You know what I mean? That's why you don't hear about a lot of stories about me and what I did with niggas and what I do. Because I already knew, you know. Niggas go to the podium on you in a heartbeat. You feel me? Niggas will go to the podium on you in a heartbeat. That friendship is bullshit like I told you. You don't have no fucking friends. You know what I mean? Niggas don't give a fuck. A nigga eat with you, go to restaurants with you. A nigga will, you know, go to your mom's house, nigga, and share, share dreams with you, share nightmares with you, share all types of shit with you, and still go in front of the stand and telling you in a heart fucking beat. And y'all niggas are stupid not to believe that shit. That's why it's just last. Niggas at niggas Seaside, what, you know, talking about you need to confront niggas. I confronted nobody. I don't give a fuck. Why well, I don't give a fuck? Because nigga ain't no nigga told on me. Shit, I keep that selfish ass approach all the time, nigga. Y'all niggas got me fucked up, you know what I mean? Talking about, oh, niggas speaking on it, but these niggas ain't doing nothing around it. You need to do something, you need to go see about it, and you need to check and see what's going on in your neighborhood. My neighborhood is Seaside, nigga. That's my neighborhood, you feel me? And I fuck with everybody from Seaside, you feel me? So, nigga, it's not my job to go and talk to nobody about what they decided to do in their personal life to save their life. These niggas is funny as fuck. All of a sudden, everybody's depressed and shit. Knowing shit's about to happen anyways, niggas is depressed about a nigga telling. Oh, I just can't believe he did that. Well, believe, because it's been happening for years. It's been happening for 30, 40 plus years, niggas telling. So, at the end of the day... At the end of the day, don't act surprised when a nigga tells. Don't act fucking surprised. <clears throat> Only reason why niggas wasn't telling in the 60s and 70s because you wasn't really getting that much time. Back in the 60s and 70s, shit, murder was like only really 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker murdered somebody get out 10 years, so it was like it was nothing. But, but now, you murder somebody, you never gonna see daylight again. Depending on the situation. So, you know, there's the stakes are much more high now compared to before. That's why niggas is telling. Because niggas do not want to do that time. I don't give a fuck who they are. Nobody wants to do that time. Nobody wants to eat terrible food for the rest of their life. Nobody, no nigga wants to be around other niggas. And they say, well, do the crime, you got to do the time. Which is true. But niggas ain't built like that. So you got to watch who you take on the ride along with you, nigga. You know what type of nigga you with. You hang with that nigga all the time. And I suggest you not to do some dirt with a random nigga you don't hang with. Nigga. That's why y'all niggas be having problems. Oh, you know, my name's on the, in, in the paper and niggas is telling on me. Boo hoo hoo. Whoa, you picked that friend, nigga. I didn't pick him. Boo hoo hoo, nigga. I ain't supposed to cry over none of y'all niggas. You picked that friend, nigga. You pick that motherfucker, Fred, you stupid ass motherfucker. Niggas wanna cry worldwide. Niggas wanna cry. He told on me. Then you wanna get on the internet and expose what he did to me. He told on me. He sound like a straight bitch. He sound like a bitch getting on the internet talking about who told on you. You want everybody else to handle your business, nigga. If the nigga told on you, you handle business, nigga. You know where he stay at. You know what to do, nigga. You hop out the bushes on the nigga. Bitch ass niggas, man.